Well, hello, friends and family. Good to imagine you guys. Uh, you know, I gotta imagine because I'm looking at a camera. So this is something different. I'm way different than standing up behind the pulpit and staring out at everybody. But this is gonna be the new norm for a while from either this office or the office at church or maybe the sanctuary, I don't know, any or outside. The, you know, we're only limited to our imagination. But the hope is, is that we can keep service and church going. So this is a heads up. A heads up, friends and family, I like to report that. Anytime I put that out like that with that title, you can know that there is some new news looming. As many of you know, Sylvania Wesleyan Church has canceled all physical gathering events until April 5th, or until further notice. That is within the building, okay, itself, due to the protocols set forth by the POTUS, President of the United States. But we are still working hard on keeping the service going and bringing you all the good news of the gospel of Jesus. Oh, we gotta have that gospel. We gotta have that gospel, right? For I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Amen. That's why we gotta have that gospel. And as we will continue to work hard to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ, service will continue. And I'm still going to be preaching for as long as you will hear me, just in a different way. We'll be bringing you worship with communion, as we have been. So make sure to pick up some grape juice and crackers, all the elements that we need to uh, come into communion together. And we're going to make communion available and we'll go through the service that way and worship that way, okay? And the worship of giving will be able to continue as well as we are making available the means and ability for everyone to stay in touch with the Lord in every way that we have been. And the only thing that we will change, or that will change, is your commute. And you don't even have to get dressed up unless you just want to. So the good news is that you can save some money in gas, right? That's always good news, amen? Well, we are working hard. I want you to know that. We are working hard with all of our teams and church leadership to bring you everything that we can to keep you informed with the world and to bring you fresh manna from heaven. It is so necessary to have that fresh news from heaven. We'll look real intently every day in TV to get, sure, get that sure and true and fresh news from TV. Well, the best we can. Uh, I'm not going to go there, but I think you know what I'm thinking. As long as it's true news, that's the good news. But we're going to bring the true news out of heaven, for sure, the fresh men. Please help us as well, and remain faithful in your giving, and support as you are able. I know that there are many of you that may have lost your jobs or financial support, so please, I'm going to say this, don't worry about that for this season, okay? And if so, if that has happened, please let us know. It's let us know if we can be of any help to you at all. As we all are affected in these trials, it is my hope that everyone can be compassionate with others. That's where it starts. It all begins there. It's in the matters of the heart. The problem is the problem of the heart. And do what we can to be a helping hand for each other. The best that we can. It is through love and compassion that we will shine the brightest on the darkest days. The most important thing that we can draw from this crisis is that the Lord is longing to get our attention and bring us to the place of repentance where we are safe in His grace. He knows the plans that He has for us, plans of a hope and of a future, not plans to harm us. So the next step is clear. We only need to repent of all sin and put our trust in Jesus. Do that today, would you? Don't wait until tomorrow. For one day, tomorrow's never gonna come. Our prayers and love go out to each and every one of you for your safety and protection. And we will continue to pray that God will bless us and show his favor and blessings on you all forevermore. 
mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In service to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, I'm Pastor Lord. God bless you guys, and I hope to see you soon. I hope everybody will turn in, turn or tune in to this new channel. I mean, it's so new, I've only got at the moment two videos on that, and those are little short ones. So we're going to be doing two-minute timeouts and, you know, just throwing up anything we can. But then also all the service is going to go there, so you'll have them in archive as well. You can go back anytime and check out anything you think might be good enough to watch twice. <laughs> I hope it'll be good enough to watch twice. It's going to be a new gig for sure. But I love you guys. I want you to know that. I really do. This has been an incredible team. And already, it's an incredible church that's near and dear to my heart, each and every one of you. Uh, well, except for that one guy. He, you know, I, I, don't know. I just need some prayer. <laughs> hey, you guys have a good one. I love you. Bye-bye. Stay safe and tuck in with Jesus. Don't mess around. This is crazy. Who would think about messing around in a day like today? The There's that button right there.